Bermuda was the first jurisdiction to form captives back in the early 1960s. So we've been in the business a long time. Um, over this period of time, we've developed a sophisticated infrastructure on the island and most international insurance service providers uh, are here in Hamilton, Bermuda, have a physical presence. We have a sensible regulatory environment and a very sensible and approachable regulator in the Bermuda Monetary Authority, uh, the BMA. We developed our first insurance regulations in the mid-1970s, and thus we have a well-settled and I think finely tuned set uh, of insurance regs applicable uh, to captives. We have a stable government um, in Bermuda, a government that understands the uh, nature of our business and the importance of what we call our insurance industry. We call it an industry because unlike other jurisdictions, this is not a side business. Uh, this is a very important aspect of the economic well-being of the island. And we're fortunate enough to, to have a government that, that understands that and is committed to maintaining Bermuda's position as the premier offshore insurance domicile. Additionally, we are a UK common law jurisdiction. Our final court of appeal is to the Judicial Committee of the Privy Council, the UK House of Lords, which is important to international clients and their professional advisors. Finally, and I think one aspect that separates us from all of our competition is the international reinsurance market that is based in Bermuda. Uh, risk managers from overseas um, can do one-stop shopping in Bermuda. They can come in, uh, secure uh, reinsurance for, for their captives, and at the same time, they can buy DNO coverage for directors of their parent boards. These are some of the factors why I believe that Bermuda is the premier insurance domicile and the logical choice for clients looking to form an offshore insurance captive. Bermuda, like all offshore jurisdictions, is under ever increasing scrutiny from international regulatory bodies. However, we've been very fortunate on the insurance side of things that the Bermuda Monetary Authority, the BMA, has been able to secure good working relationships with a number of international insurance regulatory bodies, such as the NAIC and the IAIS. We have a seat at the table uh, at these meetings, so the views and uh, positions of uh, Bermuda as a jurisdiction are well represented. In the past few years, we've also been granted qualified jurisdiction status by the NAIC which is a tremendous compliment to the jurisdiction and to the work of the BMA. This puts us alongside countries such as the UK, Ireland, Switzerland, and Germany. And no other offshore insurance domicile competing with us in this space has been able to secure such a designation. Solvency II will have no impact on Bermuda captives. The regulations that we have enacted over the last five or eight years to uh, seek equivalency uh, for Bermuda are applicable only to the commercial insurance space, so there will be no impact whatsoever. We are very much hoping that Bermuda will be granted third country equivalence, which is vital for our commercial insurance and reinsurance sector. Clearly, if we are able to achieve that designation, uh, it will be a tremendous uh, reputational boost for the island, which has got to be of benefit to our captives as well. Commencing next year, 2016, filings uh, for captives with the BMA, these will now be done electronically, which uh, should prove to be more efficient for the filings but also should provide the BMA and our industry as a whole with some very good hard data uh, on our, our book of business in Bermuda. It will show a, a better breakout of the uh, type of premium uh, being written by our captives. So I think that's very positive. But in terms of overall regulations, no, there will be no changes uh, I can see in the near term. 
I think the future looks great for our captive business. 2013 and 2014 were, were good years for, for insurance registrations, and I see that trend continue in, into 2015. That's not to say that there isn't uh, competition out there. Uh, competition is fierce. There are captive domiciles uh, popping up all over the place, uh, including many states uh, in the United States. There's always business that will find a home in some of these other jurisdictions, but I do believe that Bermuda will continue to maintain its premier uh, place um, as the domicile of choice for, for business that is looking for the type of services that Bermuda can offer. And at the end of the day, Bermuda still is the home of about 25 or 26 percent of the world's captives are, are based here in Hamilton, Bermuda. And in terms of the uh, gross and net premium written by our companies, there is no other jurisdiction uh, competing with us that can compare with our numbers. Mm -hmm.